video game voice actors poised to strike as they battle AI for their gerbs. What happened last time video game voice actors tried to strike? Do you guys remember what happened? Because I do. Like months went by and, and the, the companies weren't going to fold because these people were easily replaceable. And eventually they just went back to work, like getting none of what they demanded. Like the same thing's going to happen again. Like they're, they're not as necessary as they think they are. But now who's going to tell them, right? The strike looms as uh, more jobs go to AI. It's scary, one voiceover actor says. Hollywood is bracing for another actor strike, this time against the video game industry. <laughs> it's not going to go as well as you think. All, all these companies are just going to hire other people. And we're currently in bargaining with all the major game studios, and the major sticking point is AI. As SAG after a national executive director, Duncan Crabtree Ireland, said Thursday, actors at all levels are at risk of digital replication. We have a strike authorization on the contract, and it is at this point uh, we could end up going to strike. So how did the last strike work out for you guys? Uh, am I the only one that, that seems to be noticing that all the people that went on strike last year can't seem to get work anymore because Hollywood is pretty much dead? They're calling it peak TV. Yeah, peak TV is behind us. Hollywood is, is contracting at, at a pretty rapid pace too, mind you. Hollywood is contracting quick. And the same thing is happening with gaming. Have you not been paying attention to the literally tens of thousands of layoffs going on in AAA gaming right now? You really think you could get away with this now? You know, th these companies are going to be like, man, I, we, we, were just, uh, we, we were just dreading having to lay people off. But hey, if they volunteer themselves, ha! <laughs> Noise makes my job easier. Hell, man, you guys want to strike? Go ahead. My voice actor Sarah Elmale El chairs the, un the union's interactive media agreement negotiating committee. I've seen nothing like this in technology to impact our gerbs, she said. A replicate voice cannot display a spectrum of emotions yet. At least she understands. For now, technology is based on averaging uh, and best questions. It lacks nuance. Most of you as well. Like, uh, yeah, a, a good human voice actor is still going to be way better than AI. But most of these voice actors aren't really any better than AI would be. Uh, the union was navigating its way to new film and TV contracts after a 118-day strike against Hollywood Studios last year. Now, how's that working out for you? All I'm seeing is articles about how you guys can't get work anymore. Uh, is again focusing on regulating AI and the impact on wages and gerbs. The, it will be a re recurring issue with each successive contract every three years, Crafty Ireland said. Do you really think they're going to even want to deal with you in three years, though? Like, that's the big question. So companies facing possible strike are Microshaft, oh, Blind Light LLC, uh, Disney Character Voices International, you know, Electronic Farts. Uh, Epic Games, Formosa Interactive, Insomniac Games. So j just say PlayStation. Uh, Take Two, uh, VoiceWorks, and Warner Brothers. Oh, no. Not uh, all of these companies whose games I don't really buy anymore. Oh, no. Anyone but them. You know, actors and actresses should be very, very much afraid. Chris Mattman, an uh, and adjunct research professor at the University of Southern California's Computer Science Department, said in an interview, within three seconds, gen generative AI can effectively clone a voice. Yeah, true. And, and remember how it was these creative types that were claiming that they were going to be the only ones left standing? It's all the rest of us that are going to be automated and replaced by AI. You guys remember that? And yet they're the first ones getting replaced. <laughs> Oops. No, video game studios pay professional actors to voice the aliens, detectives, uh, elves, and monsters that inhabit virtual worlds, but increasingly some are employing realistic generative voices to save money, and that has cut into actors' work. Yeah, you know, I, I would be fine going back to silent games again, if I'm being honest. If not, okay, just give me the Japanese dub and, and, and add some subtitles. Like the, the, That's usually way better. So the god of these voice actors think they're more important than directors, even code monks that make the world possible, or the artists that decorate the world. Yeah. The gamers need uh, can read and have dealt with silent protagonists forever out of all the roles that make it up. Voice acting, while nice, is on the bottom of the list. Yeah, that's exactly the point I've been making. 
It's not, and even better, like uh, uh, these programmers and artists, they work on these games for years. They're the ones doing crunch time to, to get the games out the door. The voice actors, they do maybe two and a half days worth of work and they're demanding royalties. This this, uh, this is something like I, I don't feel the need to go back into this topic in full again. I did that when the whole Bayonetta 3 fiasco was exploding. But the fact that these voice actors who do less than a week's worth of work on these games that take five plus years oftentimes, and yet they think they should be getting royalties. What the fuck are you smoking? Yeah, they, they are by far the easiest group of people to replace. Uh, it's been more than a year since uh, Interactive Media Agreement. Oh, since the Interactive Media Agreement, the Guild's video game contract was extended beyond its original expiration date. Sack so after his last strike against game companies in uh, current year minus... Uh, Said so minus eight to minus seven lasted about six months. Yeah, and they got nothing. <laughs> in September, members overwhelmingly approved a strike authorization of the current contract. Uh, the National Board of Authority called a strike at any time if negotiations fail. The spokesperson representing the 10 video game companies said they are optimistic a resolution will be reached. So we are continuing to negotiate in good faith and have made tremendous progress. We've reached tentative agreements on the vast majority of proposals and remain optimistic we can reach a deal soon. Yeah, and you know, you know what's going to happen though? They will actually get a good deal, j just like with uh, just like with Hollywood. I, I'm 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 not being sarcastic. I legitimately believe the game companies are going to give them a sweetheart deal, but there's a catch. There's only going to be about a quarter the jobs that there are now. So the, a quarter of these voice actors are going to be able to get deals that are about 50% better than what they have now. All the rest of them are going to be out of work. Like that, that's what I believe is going to happen. Now, I could be wrong, but I mean, we, we got precedent for this. Now, when it comes to AI, Hollywood has been fraught with tension as any industry, even tech, media, or customer service. Flashpoint came in current year minus 10 when Baidu Inc.'s uh, deep search technology for, or deep speech technology first converted speech to text. Fast forward to today that, uh, and dialect inflection and connotation can be refined with voice clones. Man, even before then with Vocaloids, right? So it was uh, the number one topic of discussion at a voiceover conference in Atlanta this month. Uh, Joe Davis, board member of World Voices Organization, the National Trade Association of Voice Actors, said in an interview, everyone's concerned about AI. It looks uh, like the low-end market is going away. Where, people are going to, where, where are people going to start in the industry then? In the last six months, the majority of the jobs are going to AI. Now, th that is also true. This is the long game that the companies are playing. So they're um they're gonna make sweetheart deals with the the big name actors to get their likenesses as AIs, and then they're never gonna hire any new voice actors or regular actors again. They're just gonna keep reusing the greats of the past in AI form, and that's the end of it. Marquee actors like uh, Bradley Cooper, the voice of Rocky Raccoon in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, need not be worried. But many cartoon and video game voice actors are looking at uh, reductions in salary and the number of gerbs. One of those is definitely going to happen. The, uh, the other is a maybe. But again, like I, I believe that the, the companies are going to compromise. I, I think they, they will. Uh, like maybe they'll, they'll, they'll raise pay, but yeah, the number of jobs that that's going to go down. Like that's, that's unavoidable. Okay. So most at risk are the thousands of working actors who are in anywhere from a hundred dollars a gig to tens of thousands of dollars a year on a project. Increasingly, many are either seeing their roles de-emphasized or losing their gerbs altogether to rep to digitally replace voices similar to their own. It's scary. We don't uh, know where things are going. Just last year, their progression has been insane. Uh-huh. So we, we've gone from, uh, oh, yeah, the creative jobs will be safe because AI can't do, it, can't, it has no soul, it can't create, to, uh, yeah, within just a few years, the, it's by far the most threatened of the jobs. Yeah, so it's, as far as I know, my voice has not been replicated, but things are popping up with video games. We don't uh, really know sometimes until someone notifies you, the company doesn't tell you.
Yeah, Diana Birdsaw, a non-union voice actor of about 20 years, was abruptly replaced by AI on the phone messaging service year a year ago. The gig had paid seventeen to twenty thousand dollars annually. She is just getting over the shock of losing the work. She uh, learned last week that she may have lost twenty five twenty-five thousand dollars a year uh, making a medical examiner videos to another AI voice. Oh God! Like the a lot of these people, they they got they got used to a very easy lifestyle where they only have to work a few months out of the year. Yeah, that's going to change, man. Now you're going to have to fucking hustle. You're going to have to be like Japanese voice actors. You're going to have to go out and do uh, and, and do odd jobs. You're going to have to do radio shows. You're going to have to do idol work, like whatever the fuck pays the bills. Yeah, you're not going to be able to, to uh, coast on maybe two jobs a year, taking up two months, and then have the other 10 months free. Oh, those days are coming to an end. Yeah, so there's no uh, compensating for this loss in revenue. Birdsaw said in an interview, we, I have to work my butt off more, but I've been told uh, I have to sound more authentic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, if we if the AI could replicate you pretty much exactly, yeah, you think you need to sound more authentic. Then current year minus three, uh, Bev Standing, a non-union voice actor, successfully sued TikTok owner ByteDance for using her voice without her consent. Okay, now, now that, that's important there. So the, the trick is you need to find a random person who sounds almost identical to the voice actor you're using and you train the AI on them. And then when the voice actor sues that that you you uh, used their voice without permission, then you bust out all of that all of the the evidence in court, like all the recording sessions with this other person who just happens to sound very similar to the one you're replacing. That that's how you do it, man. That's how you get away with it. I mean, in more than 20 years as an actor, including a voiceover actor, Lori Burke has done thousands of voiceover lines uh, for the likes of Fakebook, LinkedIn, Apple, and Amazon. She started as the original voice uh, of Google Voice and later played an AI voice in the movie Jexy. AI can't replicate the emotion of a voice, uh, Burke said in an interview. It's kind of like a drum machine. Drums cannot be improvised. I mean, I beg to differ. It's Look, it, it, it could be done good enough. And, and remember, so remember how Asmongold got a lot of shit for this but he was absolutely he was a million percent correct the ai uh, uh, the ai version does not have to be perfect it doesn't even have to be close to perfect it just has to be good enough for most people that's that's it if it's good enough for 99% of your customers like that's what's going to get used man it's also true, like, the vast majority of people don't give a fuck. As long as it looks good, as long as it sounds good, most people couldn't care less that it, whether it was made by AI or another person. Actually, in fact, uh, AI seems to be winning the PR war lately. A lot of people are starting to learn that that these uh, like a lot of games and and uh, and whatnot are made by people who hate them. It's like, yeah, I'd rather just pay the AI rather than these cretins that hate my guts. And some of them actively sabotage. Like that's why we're seeing a, a celebration when, when manga or anime localizers are use AI. Like, well, at least uh, the AI might make mistakes. But at least the AI isn't going to maliciously censor. It, these guys don't even know how bad they fucked themselves. Like they they turned their own customers against them. But yeah, that's the situation. It looks like these guys are going to be striking again for a few years, and no one's going to care. Like, do you? Re uh, it was a clownfish talks about this all the damn time. Like, oh my, our industry is literally fucking dying. It's shrinking. There's tens of thousands of layoffs where the, the money is gone. Now's a good time to go on strike.